All right. First name Michael, M I C H A E L, Chadwick, C H A D W I C K. Uh, first lieutenant, my position is assistant brigade fire support officer. So, um, there's an artillery battalion organic to every BCT um, with fire support elements from the company up to the brigade level. So, at this level, the BCT fire cell is responsible for coordinating basically surface surface fires and air surface fires. So anything from cannon artillery to um, CCA, CAS, working with JTACs. Um, so basically we figure out how to put rounds on the enemy. Yeah, it's been an experience. Um, we don't always get to train at this echelon with full incorporation of brigade staff. Um, so a lot of learning points, um, but we're making progress, picking up tips, figuring out how to do things better, and starting to incorporate it. So, so today for fires, we've blown up a couple things, um, but for the most part, we're preparing for the attack to take Dar Alam. So working the orders process, um, generating the brigade op order that's going to be disseminated tonight while coordinating what's going on on the ground right now. So pulling in division assets, shooting stuff with organic brigade assets as they come up. So uh, so it's a lot of that is handled at the battalion level. Um, basically at the brigade, we just tell them what effect we want to have. So if we identify a target that we think we're going to find in a certain time, a certain place, we tell them how we want to destroy it. So if it's going to be with cannon artillery, which is organic to the brigade, then we'll tell them you need to be prepared to shoot this target at this time if we find it. And then at the battalion level, the staff on the back end does all the work to prepare that. So their S4 and Logistics Cell is coordinating ammunition resupply to make sure the guns have enough when they need to shoot it. They're making sure they're in the right position uh, working with the operation cell down to the battery commanders um, to make sure they're in the right position to shoot it where we think we're going to find it. Meanwhile, staying safe and moving as they get found, trying to avoid attack aviation, counter fire from enemy artillery, etc. So, um, well, the last attack is really going to be the big push. Um, so, right now we're trying to align everything, make sure. Um, down to the lowest level, really, everyone's prepared. Everyone's getting their order tonight, so they'll understand the commander's intent and really what they need to focus on over the next couple days. So uh, I'm trying to refit right, right now. Um, seize a little more ground in the east to posture ourselves for the attack um, and then continue to trip the enemy to put ourselves in a more advantageous position yeah. by the time we push for the attack. So. Okay. So like I said earlier, we don't train at this at this echelon very often just because of everything that goes into actually exercising brigade staff. So probably seeing all the pieces come together um, and the synchronization that you need across different groups and functional areas within the staff uh, because there really is no one cell that can do it by themselves. Everyone needs to work together, um, share information, collaborate, and really bring everything we have to bear together in order to be successful. Well, probably would have been the other night, but I died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which wasn't too fun. But um, no, just seeing, seeing the hard work come out when we're on a major, major offensive or defensive operation um, and seeing all the work come together and all the planning kind of coalesce um, in one spot as as the guys on the ground are trying to push through. Just communication across the board is tough. Um, a lot of people here are, are new or don't have too much experience in their positions, myself included. So really understanding what's needed across the staff from each section, each individual, has been a big, a big learning curve. Because like I said, we don't work together, so I know how to do my job but I don't know necessarily what the S2 needs for me or what the S3 needs for me um, based on what's going on or based on what we're preparing for 
in order to make sure that they're set up for success. So it's been a steep learning curve, but everyone's doing pretty well. The motivation's still pretty high, so we're all working together and figuring it out. Uh, no, so the artillery battalion sends a platoon at a time out of sector to piece on ridge to go shoot live, but in here they're shooting simulated rounds.